It's a lady in London here. Today I want to take you around on my self-guided walk in London's Covent Garden. This area is one of the most vibrant in the city and it's one of the most popular places for locals and visitors alike to take in the sights and sounds of London. As always, the full route and map are on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and I'll put the link in the description of this video so that you can find it easily if you want to replicate the steps and take the walk yourself. This self-guided walk starts at the Covent Garden tube station. It's right in the heart of the neighborhood, so it's in the thick of the action. As you walk down Longacre, you'll start to see the shops that Covent Garden is known for. Your first stop is Slingsby Place. This narrow pedestrianized alley has lots of great shops and it leads into St. Martin's Courtyard, which is full of restaurants and other places to explore. Next, you'll come to Seven Dials. This is one of the most exciting places in Covent Garden. There are lots of shops, cafes, restaurants, bars, you name it, you can find it in Seven Dials. It's a really fun place to explore. The third stop on your Covent Garden walk is Neil's Yard. This colorful courtyard is tucked away, hidden off the streets in Covent Garden, and it's an amazing place to discover. There are lots of colorful shop fronts, cafes, restaurants, and shops to explore, and it's a fun place to spend some time in the heart of London. A short walk away from Neil's yard, you'll find yourself on Neil Street. There are lots more colorful shop fronts here and some fun pubs too. Next, you'll find yourself in the heart of Covent Garden in the Piazza. This is what most people think of when they think of Covent Garden, and there's a lot to explore here. From markets to shops, restaurants, cafes, bars, it's all happening here, and it's a great place to spend some time. The Apple Market in Covent Garden is a fun place to pick up some new finds or souvenirs. There are lots of outdoor cafes and street performers around Covent Garden Piazza too, and there's always some seasonal decorations to spot while you're walking around. Right next to the Piazza, King Street is a fun one to walk down. There are lots more shops and cafes here, and some of the best in the area can be found along this road. Just off King Street, Rose Street is another great gem in Covent Garden. There's a fun pub called the Lamb and Flag here, and lots of little shops and cafes too. Rose Street leads to Floral Street, one of the best shopping streets in Covent Garden. There's everything from great independent stores to floral facades with cafes to discover. Your next stop is Bow Street, where you'll see the Royal Opera House and lots of colorful cafes and restaurants as you go. From Bow Street, you'll explore a lot more side streets in Covent Garden, from Tavistock Street to Southampton Street, Maiden Lane to Chandos Place. You'll explore a lot of different streets in Covent Garden and really get a chance to take in the scene.
After getting a glimpse of the National Portrait Gallery, you'll find yourself on St. Martin's Lane. This street has great historic theaters, shops, cafes, and more. Don't forget to look up here. There are great streets coming off St. Martin's Lane too, from Cecil Court with its antiquarian shops and bookstores to St. Martin's Court with lots of restaurants and colorful outdoor tables. There's a lot to explore. Soon you'll come to Leicester Square Station where your Covent Garden walk ends. But it doesn't have to stop here. There's lots more to explore in the area from Leicester Square to Trafalgar Square and beyond. So you can continue exploring if you want to. I hope you've enjoyed this walking tour in London's Covent Garden, and I hope you get to do the whole walk yourself in person at some point. In the meantime, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy walking!